meaning to love, meanings rather, to love. And um, some of them are so cliche, it's not funny. All right, so one of them that I heard while growing up, young adult and so forth, was um, love, how you know that you love is when you feel a butterfly feeling or it's um, chemistry, you just connect, there's a chemistry and that's their definition for love. Is that my definition though? No, it's not. Because I feel as though if love is built upon those premises, they, then it's going to crumble. And so, let's jump right into it. So, what is love? Can you tell me what is love? Let me hear you talk to me in the comment section about what is love. So, I want to share with you today three different kinds of of love right three different kinds of love so in in modern language all gather together under so classical Greek has three words that means love and it further breaks them down as to the kind of love that they are right and we know that um, when we talk about love, love should be built on principle and also it's built upon the principle that Jesus laid down for us, right? And if that's the case, then the love that we have for our partners, our wives, our husbands, it should be a model of that love that was demonstrated by Christ to us. Agree? Yes, let me know if you agree, okay? So the three love words are eros, filio, and agarpe. So let's first look at eros. This is most important from this is the most important form of love. This love, however, it refers to an impulsive, seeking, self sensual satisfaction. It is passionate love, right? So it is sensual satisfaction. So that's what this love is built upon, one premise, which is sensual. And if we're going to have the complete package of love, it cannot be built on just one premise, but on a package, right? Okay, so let's look at filial love. Remember, these are Greek words, right? So filial love, um, this... Um, kind of love refers to the love that is provided by relationship based emotional satisfaction it could also be used to refer to the love which fosters companionship and friendship as well as the ideal love for nature knowledge or music so the love for nature, the love for knowledge, or the love for music. Is this a love that we want to? Is this the way that we should love our partners? Let me hear what you have to say. Because in this, I wouldn't, from my perspective, I wouldn't even put... Um, I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't say love nature or love music or love knowledge because these are things I would say I like because you like things and you love people. So there is a difference, right? So let's look at agarpe love. So we're going to look at agarpe love. 
And I also want to suggest that this is a love that Christ demonstrated for us. And with that said, this is the love that as married people, we are expected to share with our partners. Okay? So this is the highest representation of love. It occurs on principle. I, I said this word before. And not on impulse. So if we have a love that is built upon impulse, we're simply saying that it's going to be, the love is going to be based on how I feel. If I don't feel like I want to be bothered with you today, then I'm not going to be bothered with you. If I don't feel like um, I should talk to you today, I'm not going to talk to you. So it is built upon emotion or impulse. No. This is, this is not the love that Christ showed us. His love for us was not built upon impulse. And this is why this is the highest form of love. And this is the ideal form of love. It is projected in the other, even when the other person corresponds to a less degree. Emotion or impulse. No. This is, this is not the love that Christ showed us. His love for us was not built upon impulse. And this is why this is the highest form of love. And this is the ideal form of love. It is projected in the other, even when the other person corresponds to a less degree. So it is not, okay, I'm going to love you based on how you love me. No. When we are Christ-like and when we are living for Christ and we're demonstrating the love that he shows us how to, then our love will be extended no matter what. It is the infallible love of our marriage relationship and the one which fosters other types of love. There is um, a Bible author that I particularly love. His name is Paul. And I love him because of the trauma and the different things that he went through. But at the end of the day, when it comes to principle, Paul knew what principle was and he demonstrated it. Paul the Apostle explains this supreme love to believers in Corinth about 2,000 years ago in a letter which now is a part of the scriptures. The essence of this is important. I'm going to share with you uh, what love is and what love is not. Just before I share that with you, this is something I want you to do for me. I want you, as we look at what is love, to grab your Bible and turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And read verses 1 to 10 so that you can have a better understanding of what the scripture is saying, what it talks about love and the principle of love. Okay, so now let me share with you the... What is love 
and what is not love. First, I'm going to share with you what is love, okay? Love is being patient, yes. Being kind, yes. Rejoicing in the truth, that's number three. And number four is long suffering. Number five, trusting. Number six, tolerating. Number seven, even more important than faith. Number eight, even more important than hope. And number nine, long lasting. These are some of the traits of what love is. Let me now share with you what love is not. Love is not envious. Love is not conceited. Love is not proud. Love is not rude. Love is not selfish. Love is not angry. Love is not resentful. And finally, Love does not rejoice in the wrong. And so, guys, as we contemplate these things, I pray and I hope that we will understand what true love is, knowing that the love that God um, demonstrated was the agape form of love. This love that is not built on impulse this love that is unconditional this love that is infallible i pray that we will go forth and ask christ to teach us how to practice the agarpe love to our wives our husbands as we seek to live the life above sin so that when he comes we will go home with him thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about this video what you think about the topic and let me know if you want me to talk more about this kind of thing on this channel and it's gonna be my pleasure to do so Trust that you will have a wonderful and a beautiful day. Walk good. Blessings. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.